there was this important point it's a interview question as well what is fluid data entry what is single data entry and what is mass data entry so somebody will call ask you in interview tell me in the analytics cloud planning what are the data entry options available so your answer should be there are three types of data entry options available single data entry fluid data entry and mass data entry so what does what is the difference between them so if you come back to the uh, to the table you will actually see that setting you can change in the in the builder panel so when you come down to the builder panel you see planning a special action is coming here this will only come when you deal with planning data model now you understand why we created a planning model why not a bi model because in bi model this option never come this option only come if you enable planning planning related options will appear for you so here you can see the data entry choices fluid data entry single data entry and mass data entry mode so in the fluid data entry mode if you can hover the mouse it will tell you everything process all the data changes at same time if they are made in a fast sequence so this is the most desirable or most used data entry mode if this is this is the mode which is used in case you would want to edit multiple data together quickly and immediately you want to see the impact of change for example i go back and i would want to increase asia pacific by 2% emea increase by 1% and uh, reduce the northeast by 7% so 2 1 minus 7 so watch out i say plus 2% plus 1% minus 7% enter you see immediately the data is changing yes but this is bad for performance especially if you are dealing with live s4 ana or group reporting data yes so that is called fluid data entry mode so if you are using live data connection then this data entry mode is going to cause performance problem for us so that's where we have single data entry mode in single data entry mode what happens is the data entry will be done at a single field and until or unless the data is changed completely system will show a loading indicator so system will not allow me to edit other data immediately it will show me a loading indicator until unless my first change is complete so watch out i come back and notice this time i am increasing asia pacific by 12% and emea uh, reducing by 3% so let's say plus 12% it won't affect immediately it will it will give a loading indicator did you notice it, there was a loading indicator and until unless that complete change is applied system will not allow me further data entry till that change is fully done till that single change is fully done so now i'll say plus uh, minus 3% enter and you see loading indicator it's very fast maybe you may not be able to observe but uh, since we are dealing with the local data model a acquired data model the data is stored in ssc changes are very quickly applied but if you using let's say for example a live data model and you are doing data entry there so in that case the changes has to go back to the sap backend system and while it is going back to the sap backend system it takes a bit of time so you would want to force your user to wait until the first change is not complete basically it's a synchronous data entry so after the single data entry we have the mass data entry so somebody also asked me performance uh, related uh, related uh, remarks about the planning so if you really want good performance you want to send all the changes to your backend system all at once like traditional sap right the three tier architecture whenever we interact with database from application layer we would want to insert all the data as a mass operation like insert into database table from i tab or select a star from database table into table i tab we want to read in a, in a, in a in a way to don't hit the database again and again yes similarly imagine you working with a live data model and you doing data entry you would want your changes to be sent to the back end system all at once as a batch which is good for performance so in these situations we can go with the concept of data entry mode which is mass data entry mode yes so mass data entry mode allows or doesn't send every change to the data model immediately whether it is live data model or acquired data model it will send it only once we confirm perfect so now we can just go back 
to the mass data entry mode. Here you see the third data entry mode. I will select that and we are good. It is auto saving. And as a next step, what we can do is we can see the data entry changes. So I'll save this change. So now we are in the mass data entry mode. So watch out what happens. If I go back and go to the view mode, the mass data entry mode will work in the view mode. You can actually see the difference only in the view mode. So now we would want to apply the changes over there. So <clears throat> let, it, let us get the version. So I will head over back to the second tab version management and we'll start the data entry for this. So let's increase for Asia Pacific 2%, then for EMEA 5%, so plus 2%, enter, plus 5%, enter, and let's say minus 3%, minus 3%, minus 9%. You can see the changes are being logged here with the color. You can see the color is being done and the changes are being happening. System is telling you that. But at the same time, these changes are not reflecting and not causing a change to the, the KPIs which are affected because of that. Why? Changes haven't been sent to the model level yet. So if you say process data, it will send all these changes plus 2, plus 2, plus 3, minus 3, minus 7, all at once to the model. I say process and then the changes will be sent. Voila, there you go. So all the five changes were sent successfully in submit and recalculation happened all at once. So that is very good for performance, especially when you have too many data entries to be done and a user is quite fast in doing it. Sometimes the, the lag, the performance lag is very much apparent. So in that switch situation, we can switch to the mass data entry mode in the planning. Good. So this is how the data entry is influenced in SAP. So there are three data entry modes, interview question, what are the three data entry mode? The mass data entry mode, the fluid data entry mode, and the single data entry mode. So all three, I've written it down here. Just in case you're taking print out of this PPT and carrying in before the interview, you will always recall and remember what is this doing. So what? just a one addition here, it shows a loading indicator once the changes, till the, till the time changes. Is R R done? So this is how exactly works with the data entry mode in SSC. All right. So moving on now.